Hi everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this video, we are going to be talking a little bit about Canva and using some pre-built templates for Darkroom Booth for iPad. We're going to go into Photoshop just a little bit, um, something we've already covered, but the main thing is I wanted to show you that there are starter templates specifically for Canva that are sized for Darkroom Booth for iPad. So let's jump right into my computer and see what we're talking about. Okay, so we're in my computer. We're gonna open up our browser and what we're gonna do is go to Darkroom Help Center, darkroomsupport.com and do a search for Canva. And here are a few different sample templates. We'll try to keep adding to this and make sure we have one for every size. Um, but here is a video that will walk you through how to remove the image box because darkroom booth for iPad has to have a PNG where the image is behind it. These are all sized for darkroom booth for iPad. And so if you haven't watched this video yet, go ahead and watch it. We'll need this uh, Photoshop droplet and Photoshop's required to uh, process out those uh, image boxes, but we'll download that. And then what we're going to do is minimize that real quick. Just copy that to our desktop. We don't have to install it. Um, we just want it to be available on our desktop. Next thing we're going to do is switch back to our browser. Close that. And find a design that we like. Let's say we wanted to go with this one right here. I'm going to use template for a new design. So let's say it's for a wedding and it's uh, no thanks for Mike and Jane and we'll update the year or the date 24 oops and their colors are going to be a little bit different. So what we're gonna do is edit that color. Let's say they wanted pink. And they didn't like all this extra uh, design in there. They, let's say they wanted to have some flowers. Oops, uh, let's go to elements. So we'll just toss in some some flowers there. Oops. And and then go back to our position. Delete these guys. And pull our flowers to the back. And there we have a nice little design. Let's see if we can, uh, we'll also take this guy out too. Okay, so there's our design. Now what we're gonna do is save it as a PNG it will come in as a almost like a flattened JPEG, but it, you want it to be a PNG. Um, so download PNG, download. Now that we have that design, let's copy that to our desktop. Photoshop's gonna run. Um, run anyway. <clears throat> and process out that green those green image boxes so now if we pull back into Photoshop we'll see that it has that checkerboard pattern where the images are gonna go so that's fine we'll go ahead and close that so next thing we're gonna do is email it to ourself And 
send. And now on my iPad, I have the template. Save this to files and save. And we can now switch to booth for iPad and edit the event, click next. And then next one more time, make sure that we have the correct uh, layout selected. Then we're gonna choose our image, go to our files and there's our strip. And now when we click next, we should be all set up. The image is laid out with the graphic right where it should be. So I know some of you are watching and you also use Darkroom Booth 3. And you're wondering, can I use this template in Booth? Yes, 100%. They have to be laid out very specifically for Darkroom Booth for iPad. Darkroom Booth 3 is much more forgiving. So if we go to choose and then new 2 6 Canva demo. Select a two by six and then add our artwork. And now we can add our, whoops, we'll add one photo at a time. paste paste and we'll change that to two and then this one will be photo three and move those into place and then move our graphic on top we're all set our templates designed in darkroom booth so you can use these templates for Darkroom booth for iPad or Darkroom booth. Um, they're made specifically to go with this, but it does work out. Well. So I just want to show you that. I hope this has been helpful. Hopefully this helps kickstart your designs for your uh, iPad booth. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.